season of which was season five, um, they didn't even know if they were going to continue to make Doctor Who. So we made the season. The episode went out, the ratings did well, then they said, then they recommissioned it. But, you know, at that time it wasn't like a, you know, and it's unthinkable really that they wouldn't make Doctor Who now. Yes. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it was it was bizarre. It was wonderful though. It was I look back on those times with yeah. great fondness. It's nice to be able to reminisce as well. But most jobs you do, and then you go, oh God, we didn't stay in touch forever. We're best friends, and then you never see it, anyone ever again, and you forget about it. You don't really think of it until it kind of pops up on you know, a repeat on BBC Two. Yeah, or you, yeah. Get, you know we get to come and talk about it uh, with yeah. you guys. This is bizarre. It's, it's like the part, it's, it's the most humbling, like this, I find it is. That is really humbling. It's like massively weird group therapy. <laughs> <laughs> we should have a camera chest here, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, so we're going to go into the audience to get some questions, but uh, while we do that, I was wondering if you could tell us what you got up to last night, because you were in front of a different big uh, crowd yeah. last night, right? Yeah. It went down last night. Last time. night was... <laughs> Tell it, Arthur. It's yeah. great. What are you telling? Because you, you met... Well... <laughs> we met... Well, anyway, I'll cut a long story short. Cut a long story short. But to cut a long story short, we danced on stage with Arcade Fire last night. We turned into you guys, and then we met them afterwards and tried not to be embarrassing. Yeah. Actually, not quite trying to be successful. Though. Yeah. Because we love Arcade Fire. Like, we love Arcade Fire. And, um, and the Canadian. So, no. Uh, I feel, like, I feel like I've got to sit back so we don't not include this lovely girl. Yeah. 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 Can you only oh, put a screen? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The table! Bloody tables! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're walking yeah. with the water. Do you not feel, it feels like we're, we're doing one of those like, come and welcome to my life. <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Arthur, self-assigned in the street. Sorry, anyway, we're rambling. Questions? Yeah, I got someone named Amelia here, so I think we have to uh, go right here to your uh, right, Matt. Uh, down the aisle, close to you, front center. That's a good question. Well, I was a footballer, which you played down the world to soccer. Um, and I had a really wonderful teacher called Jerry Hardingham, who, who sort of took a pun on me for I should be an actor and encouraged me to join this thing called the National Youth Theatre, which I did. And then here I am, standing before you. How did you get into it? Uh, my parents are creative people. They are. My mum's a puppeteer and my dad is a musician, so I grew up in an arty household. Yeah, uh, and we should check out Play Days actually. Yeah, my mum did this thing called the Wide Bird on Play Days, which you won't know. It, you're British, it's a sort of a seven it's huge early uh, concert. Uh, and then I went to youth theatre and I went to drama school. Uh, you went to the really, really, really posh drama school. It was more like a kind of dramatic art. Yeah. And then, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Moving oh. on. Right over here. Hey guys, do you want to stand up, Kat? Hey, this is Kat. She's got a question right here. Hey, Kat. Kat. Hello? Just... Oh, hey. Hi. 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 Um, I just wanted to ask, um, no. what was the best piece of life advice you ever received? And from me? Blimey. The best piece of life. Hey, I tell you this, life advice, life advice, my dad, who is a smart old fish, always says to me, and it's fitting for a route such as ours, time is an imposition on one's dignity, so never let it be your ruler. Yeah. 
Yes, yes, I can. Time is an imposition of one's dignity. I added a bit about never let it be your rule, but I thought it needed a punchline. It's not my favorite You probably got some like life advice about a stuffed owl or something. Arthur loves taxidermy. <laughs>